Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is Dr. Richard Hurd with Gastroenterology, Associates of Columbus. And today we're talking about a really interesting topic called H. pylori. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thanks, Troy. Okay, I was having trouble getting that out of my Australian <laughs> mouth. Um, well, try Helicobacter pylori. That's the full name of it. I'm so glad you cut it down <laughs> for me. Explain to everyone at home, and also me, what H. pylori is. Yeah, H. pylori is a bacteria that you can get in your stomach that can cause stomach ulcers. Interestingly, oh. for, for a really long time, we didn't know what caused stomach ulcers. And there was these, this guy who kept saying, hey, I think, I think there's this bacteria that causes stomach ulcers. And the whole scientific community said, no, you're crazy. It can't be. He felt so strongly about it. He infected himself with H. pylori to prove it. He uh, proved it, and he won the Nobel Prize, 2005. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, but explain to people how you would know you actually have H. pylori. Yeah, so generally people come to us with kind of general GI symptoms, bad heartburn and reflux, stomach pain, um, and they come to us saying, hey, what's going on? And we do all kinds of things to check them out for that. But when we, uh, there are several ways to test for H. pylori, but uh, we may look down their throat and take biopsies. So you have a scope? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Or do, uh, there's breath tests that we can do, blood tests, all kinds of things. Would, would, when you're having the ulcers, would you be bleeding internally? Would they be erupting or they're just developing? Sure. So, uh, if, so H. pylori is a very common cause for stomach ulcers, stomach and duodenal ulcers one of the things you can present with is bleeding. So, so you, you check your stool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so if you are feeling, you know, tired and fatigued, that's hard because everybody feels, it's yeah. a very common complaint. But if you are uh, really feeling tired and then you're diagnosed with anemia, we may look down your throat and see if you have an ulcer and we'll check you for Okay, how does one get it? Is it via food? Is it picking it up from bad hygiene? <laughs> what is it? It's not bad hygiene. There's nothing you can do. We don't know for sure exactly how people get it, but we think you pick it up. Uh, most people actually pick it up in childhood and have it uh, chronically for a long time, just like you would pick up any other infection. Uh, something goes from, you know, into your mouth yep. and you swallow it and then it, it gets into your stomach that way. Okay, how common is it? Very common. It's the most common chronic infection in humans worldwide. How is it treated? Lots of antibiotics, and it can be very difficult to get rid of. So if you get diagnosed with it, you're going to get this very extensive antibiotic regimen. It's very important that you don't miss any doses oh. so that we can get rid of it. Uh, like yeah. super strong antibiotics? Yeah, well, strong, super, you know, there are specific antibiotics yeah. to, that, uh, to that bacteria. Okay, and now we know that antibiotics are normally like 14 days, 10 days. Is this a longer treatment plan? No, it's about the same. It depends on which regimen that you do, but it's, it's still around that same length. Okay, how do we know that it's been fixed after that 14 days? Do we need to have more tests? Some pe that's a kind of complicated question. Most people, if their symptoms go away, they don't need another test. There are a certain subset that we need to make sure we get rid of. There is a long-term risk of, uh, of stomach cancer with H. pylori if it's left untreated over years and years and years and years. Hmm. But uh, that is, uh, you know, that's unusual. As always, you give us great information. We appreciate you, Doctor. Yes, sir. If you want to find out more information, there it all is up on the screen for you. Gastroenterology and Associates, they will take care of all your internal needs. Back after this short break, everyone.